And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Quibs here, Quibs does stuff, back in our PJs as per usual. Um, back in Minecraft again today, uh, and we are trying something new. Uh, no more streaming to YouTube. Um, I've realized that two hour YouTube videos is not the brightest thing, like two hours of someone playing Minecraft in real time. So instead, we're going to record the stream and YouTube will get best of videos instead. We'll see how that goes. Uh, it does mean I'm going to have to spend a lot more time because I'm going to have to do actual video editing, which I don't do as much of as I did earlier in the channel's life, because once I moved to live streaming, I'm like, oh, this is so much easier than editing. Um, but yeah, doing work for a channel makes more sense. So uh, we will be doing that. Um, we'll see how it goes. I don't know, but this is, uh, you know, the, the first attempt at it. Now, in our last episode, we tried to get down so that we could find some diamonds because we've got food, or at least the beginnings of food. And we've got wood, which is always good because, you know, you, you always need wood in Minecraft. Um, do I have any other food here? I don't really have enough food yet. Um, no, I suppose I do. Don't really want to waste coal on that. Eh, yeah, we'll see what we, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, so, well, there's two things. I could keep going down for diamonds, or I could also get my, um, and I was already starting, get ready to build a cow farm, because that will give us some decent food. Uh, and also give us the leather that we're going to need for books because main reason why I need diamonds is I'm going to have to get enchanting going and I know where I can get some obsidian because there's a village nearby and I know there's a chest with heaps of obsidian in it in that chest so we're sort of in two places right now as to what to do I think I'm going to do the cow farm because I think it's more important I need it I need the food the cow farm needs to start here. If I want to be sure that I'm not digging into the... Uh, let's see, one, two, three. If I'm not digging into the tree room. Now, there was water below the tree room. Ah, but that's below the tree room, which is way, 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 way lower than this. I say way, 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 but it's a little bit lower than this. We'll be fine. Uh, so yeah, so a simple 8x8 room is where we really want to start for that. Um, do I have everything correct? I do have everything correct. Just checking the stream, making sure I've got everything set up as it should be. And yeah, I haven't played Minecraft in a little bit, but that's because the... Ah, uh, come on. Are you serious? There's so much water around here. So now I need to get rid of that one, and there's still water there, so... Oh yes, okay, well that's... You know... Because there's water there and there. Right, so this is where we should be, that's good. Man, this is going to be a difficult one to build. Dig out a bit of this so that I can see what I'm doing as well, because... It's night time. I should go sleep. It would probably be a good idea as well. Don't want to have to deal with those phantoms. I'm going to need food soon as well, so hopefully my wheat starts growing faster. That sounds like a slime, which is cool. I don't know whether there's any frogs around the place, to be honest. I'm going to risk the run, even though I don't... Oh, there's a frog. Where'd the slime go? Did he die? 
creeper over there. That's not such a big deal. Or was that a frog, not a creeper that I was, uh, slime that I was hearing? Might have been a frog bouncing around and not a slime. But yeah, if I could have actually fed slime to frogs, that would have been cool. Yeah, come on, that's the noise of a slime. There is a slime over there somewhere. Otherwise it wouldn't be making the slime noise. There it is. There's also a creeper here who wants to get me. So let's sort of get him to come towards me. Not that close. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna run out of run soon as well because I don't have enough food. the way the noise is so pervasive it surrounds you um, all right let's see if I can get him to come towards me now why does he look weird is that to do with the texture package or does he look like that because he's been in the water right medium slime Little slimes. Frog. Eat the slimes. So yeah, that's how frogs eat slimes. Um, they do that a bit. Uh, and then if there was two frogs around here, I could actually breed them with the, uh, the, uh, with the slime balls. But I don't see another one at the moment. Get rid of all this excess stuff in my inventory that I don't currently need. Uh, leave that in there just in case it gets to eight. So whenever I'm using the furnace, I always, especially if I'm using coal, I always try to actually wait until there's eight things here, especially early game, because otherwise you're just wasting materials. Later, get later in the game, I might, you know, go like, oh, uh, so I waste one or two, or hopefully only one or two. But yeah, try not to waste early game. Resources are just too rare and important. That gives me enough to get some food. I can have one bread, which is better than nothing. Could start eating my apples. I don't really want to eat my apples this early in the game. Yep, not even enough to regen health yet. More water. Block there. I want to get rid of these because they are susceptible to creeper explosions. One, two, three. This is where there should be a torch. Bit of copper. So, who does things with copper? I have not done anything with copper yet. Um,. I think I played with it a bit in creative, but outside of creative, I've never really messed with copper at all. Uh, if you have built stuff out of copper, what have you built? And is it just decorative? Is it, you know, to, is there a purpose? Because so far, all I've seen is that it kind of looks cool when you make stuff out of copper and then the copper stuff slowly becomes corroded and you get that cool green color that it, that it makes. But honestly, I think the raw copper looks better, and the fact that it degrades kind of sucks. Um, well, not sucks, but it doesn't look as good. Uh, I reckon the cool orange color is kind of cool. Orangey brown. Um, whereas the green, eh, it's a nice shade of green, but yeah. Um, I know there's a lightning rod. I've never built a lightning rod. I don't, I assume that that's just to stop uh, pigs and things within the vicinity getting hit and turn into zombie piglins or what's the other one charged creepers you know I don't think I've ever seen a charged creeper all right now we've got a room that can become a paddock we will have to dig out the floor and turn it into dirt I mean we don't have to cows are perfectly happy living on stone or whatever floor you put them on however is that a drowned Sounded like a drown. Now if I dig up, is that going to get water? No. 
What about here? Water? No. What about there? Yes. That's alright. Cool. Now the bottom is going to be a different story. Uh, so I do like the floors of paddock rooms that have uh, things like cows and sheep and pigs and chickens. To be dirt, just because, not for any particular reason, like it doesn't serve any purpose, it's just a personal preference. But because I know I'm going to be digging into water, I'm going to do this a little more carefully. Another good reason to have everything at least somewhere as well is there are people that are way better at Minecraft than me and it'd be really nice if they occasionally dropped in and gave me tips. Um, if they saw what I was doing was like, you know there's a better way of doing that or why don't you do this instead? Then I could be like, oh, uh, because I didn't even know. Thank you. Um, so yeah, if you have any tips, comments, even if you're just watching the YouTube video, um, yeah, leave it leave the comment below let me know what I'm doing wrong because I'm sure there's plenty of things that I'm doing wrong I'm by no means a Minecraft expert I'm just a Minecraft veteran which is not the same thing yeah so you don't get that without ray tracing the god beams god rays god beams you don't get that without ray tracing not in Minecraft could go over the village and steal some of their crops. Haha, there is two frogs. I wonder if I can get them... Do they follow you if you're holding a slime ball? I don't know. I do know that you can breed them with slime balls, but that's it. So let's see. Where did he go? Yeah, he's walking towards me. Will he speed up and actually jump, or will it just be this slow... ...meandering... ...froggy waddle. Come on, Foggy. Here, Foggy, Foggy, Foggy. Now, where's the other one? Has he seen me? I think he's seen me as well. So now we've got two frogs. So do I have to be in water to breed them? Because they're supposed to make tadpoles. So let's try and do it in the water and see if that helps. Because I'm not actually sure how this works. I just know that they like... Oh, they're way faster in water. That shouldn't be surprising, of course. They are frogs. All right. <gasps> Frog spawn! Now, I think I could pick that up with a bucket. No. I think I can pick the tadpoles up with a bucket, so maybe I just need to wait until that hatches. I don't know how long it'll take to hatch either. I want that apple. There we go. Watch it. Hey, look. Tadpoles. Three? It looked like four. Yeah, there's one here. Four. All right. Can I catch them in a bucket? Supposedly you're supposed to be able to catch them in a bucket. Does it have to be a bucket of water? It has to be a bucket of water. Tadpoles. Don't see that every day. I'll not do that just yet now. Cows can't go through a one by two hole if there's a door in it. You have to actually get rid of the door, otherwise the cow won't fit. Um, slight annoyance. Now you get different uh, frogs, I almost said cows, depending on what uh, temperature 
sort of area you're in. And in this case, I'm pretty sure that we're only going to get those orange frogs because it's not cold enough for the other ones or hot enough for the other other ones. All right, let's see if we can find one more cow. The other thing I meant to do and never got around to doing is checking the wiki to see what kind of trades you can make villagers to see if there is any villager that will actually trade you um, blaze powder for a for potions or if there's any villager who will trade you blaze rods. It wouldn't surprise me if a cleric's capable of doing it. But yeah, I never got around to actually doing the actual research that would actually result in actual progress. Because uh, that is my biggest complaint, is that with the nether being so difficult these days, like it used to be pretty easy, now it's like super hard to get done. Um, and the nether fortress has been so rare that... Oh jeez, I don't even know where my house is from here now. Oh, I'm all the way over there, cool. Uh, look, it's cool that you're following me, little sheep, but I'm not interested. I'm looking for... What are they called again? Hooved creatures. Um, well, anyway. Looking for one of your other quadruped friends. Nope. There he is. Two of them even. That's excellent. You don't really want to follow me, little sheep. You have no idea what I'm going to do to these cows. It's not going to be nice for them. And if you're going to follow me, it's going to happen to you too, I'm afraid. Okay, fine. Menagerie it is. Come to me, jungle friends. They're going to get stuck in the doors, so you have to sort of... Ah, uh, come on. You know what? That's how we solve this. Ah! Uh. Boo! I've got to somehow push a... Oh! Little sheep. There we go. Alright, look. Oops. Not in the thing with the tadpoles. This will do for a start. Alright, I don't know why I'm hearing spiders. It shouldn't be that late in the day, should it? Oh, look, they came in. Alright, cool. can put my door back on. Um, so, I'm afraid you're unnecessary, sheep. Access to requirements. We still don't have enough food. I really need some way of regening health because monsters and stuff spawn down here. At least I think they will. I don't know, I've kind of lit it up a little bit. We might not get too many things spawning. Definitely sounds like something's already spawned, but it could just be glow squid. Yeah, there's a bunch of glow squid. Cool. But yeah, I mean, a lot of this area is dark, um, and I would imagine is dark enough for monster spawns. Oh, man. I can't remember the freaking name of them. Those weird curves. Um, oh, what are they called? Anyway, I had to learn how to do these things using just purely my brain and a regular calculator because we weren't allowed graphical calculators in exams. 
And my understanding is now you basically need a graphical calculator to take your maths exams. Like not having a calculator is no longer uh, a graphical calculator is no longer a thing. Whereas when I did it, if you had a graphical calculator, you were cheating and you would be ejected from the exam hall and you would fail. All right, that spider should be trying to kill me by now. Hi. What do you want? Huh? Huh? Come and get it. Yeah, it's what you get. It's what you get. Yeah, the more places I can put torches, the less, the higher I can get the light level in this room. And the less likely it is that something's going to spawn down here. So this is a somewhat safe room now. Um, there's lapis lazuli over there as well. Why is there a blue glow over there? Hello. Uh, I'm going to let this creeper blow up, to be honest. There's definitely more skeletons through there as well. Oh, now there's a creeper over there. How is there a creeper over there? It should be too dark for you to spawn. Let's see if I can fight him in the water so that he can't explode. Well, and then again, there's of course, you know, that. Where you just screw it up entirely. Um, I guess it's dark enough over here. There's definitely a through passage here. But I also have little to no... Um, no torches left now. I was going to say little to no torches, but now we've actually reached no torches. Zombie. Always that chance of that uh, carrot or potato. So, yeah, kill zombies when the opportunity arises. Alright, I think I need to get back. Oh, I don't actually have any torches, so going over there was moot. <gasps> Glowing! Did I pick him up or did they fall? Because I can always swim down and get him. No, I got glowing. Excellent. I don't know what they're for. <laughs> I know you can get glowing. I don't know what you can do with glowing. Oh, and now I've got a room full of frogs. Great. So I guess I was wrong about that. But anyway, froggies. Frogs. Yeah, I should, could possibly put them somewhere. I assume they can jump over gates. Um, I don't know. I've never had a, I've never had to build a, a room for frogs before. We'll, we'll think about it. We'll work it out. Um, there'll be a way to do it. I'm going to kill one because I want to remember, see what they drop. All right, the other ones don't get aggressive. Okay, I'm going to kill two because he didn't drop anything. No, he didn't drop anything either. Hmm. Maybe they don't drop anything? Could have sworn they drop slime balls. But yeah, okay, we've got two, which means if I get another slime ball, we could always breed these two and they will, I assume, try to find the water and then lay frog spawn and then we'll have more tadpoles and we can do this all again. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see. 
And that's going to do it for this episode of Minecraft, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and definitely hit that notification bell because it's super random when I upload videos. I have a weird work schedule and I do the best I can, but editing takes a long time. Speaking of which, the second half of this video uh, live stream is currently being edited. So when that new video goes up, I don't know, but if you haven't hit that bell icon, you won't be the first to catch it. Now, if you would like to join me and chat live, head on over to twitch.tv slash quivs underscore au. The au is for Australian because I am the Australian quivs. And uh, you'll be able to chat with us live on stream. Um, if you'd like to find a quicker way to get to the channel, just look on the banner of this YouTube channel and down in the bottom right corner, there's a little Twitch icon. And if you click that, it'll take you straight over there. Other than that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.